what is social dialogue, who are the actors involved, and which is the aim of this initiative. So the social dialogue at the European level brings together all the partners of the different member states. So they are the social partners from each country. So it means the employers and the trade unions, and all of them meet here in Brussels, and they discuss general policy topics that are related to our specific sector being the life performance sector. So it's in that sense an opportunity to really give uh, input to the European Commission work in relation to employment and to give them an input in terms of feedback, what we do, and also to raise awareness, particularly on the specific problems or specific issues that we have in life performance. And which were the teams on the table today, the, main, the key um, themes of the day? So we've been discussing training and skills development, because that is an issue that is quite important in Europe, because Europe is looking at raising employment, and one of the tools to raise employment is, of course, um, labor force that have better skills adapted to the labor market. So we looked at the tools that Europe is providing and how we can provide input to that. We've also been looking at uh, mobility, um, so, and in that context it can be quite technical, it can be about legislation, but it can also be rather a practical question, such as traveling with uh, uh, instruments, musical instruments, and the difficulty that uh, musicians may have in taking their instrument. Or the translation of the taxonomy used yes. uh, in a yep. defined categories of yep. workers. Yep. And this morning was raised up the question of the workers in orchestras and what I found interesting was how the Spanish um, trade unions that present the research found an interesting um, interlocutor in the Pearl theme uh, with the good practices, let's say. So what do you think is the relation between uh, the different European countries in this framework? Yeah, well I think what is very helpful for everyone here is that we can exchange practices and people share examples of how they address certain issues like in relation to health and safety um, and um, often it's very much a learning uh, exercise and um, an opportunity to see how things work in other countries and then learn from those practices and go back to your own country and try to further develop your discussions and uh, in the policy context of uh, putting it into practice in your sector and into uh, your own country uh, policy. Um, why do you think that uh, every member state should have somehow a, represent a representation in these kind of meetings? Uh, and why do you think sometimes it doesn't happen? I think it's very important for each country to have representation. Of course, I also understand that in many countries, especially like in our sector, we are so occupied with what we do and we are so enthusiastic about the work that we do and we work and we want to deliver our productions, but we sometimes do not think of the wider context in which we work. And this is actually what we focus on, is the wider context um, to have finally a better environment in which that everyone can work, uh, employers, uh, musicians, artists, uh, whoever who is involved, technicians as well, whoever is involved in the production process of, uh, of, of the live performance. Activities. And in terms of time, how much is engaging to participate in this kind of social dialogue uh, events and projects? I mean, if someone would be interested, how much time has to consider to dedicate to this uh, um, strategy? Well, we are meeting about five times per year in Brussels. Um, but besides that, we have some joint projects. For example, now we are undertaking a study um, on what exists on the sector skills councils. Of course, when you are involved in a project, you have to commit a little bit more of time. Um, but actually for the national delegates, the, the main focus or the main work, I would say, is try to join for a few times per year 
at a meeting one day, uh, a meeting in Brussels.